Yes, my favorite. Don't go away. Coming up next on the Pennsylvania Independent Film Festival, meet William Wedig, Manny Perez, and Joe Van Wee of the movie Forged, which is now being filmed in the Scranton area. This tense action adventure tells the tale of one man's sacrificial attempt at redemption when the crime he faces asks for more than he can give. Stay tuned. The Pennsylvania Film Office has worked to showcase Pennsylvania as a production location of choice since 1977. The Pennsylvania Film Office offers services to cater to the unique needs of the film industry. More information is available at filmnpa.com. Electric City and Diamond City, Scranton and Wilkes-Barre's Guide to Arts and Entertainment, a showcase for local talent and treasures, ECDC spotlights what to do, where to go, and who to see in and around Northeast Pennsylvania, available at newsstands every Thursday. Ninety-seven nine X supporting programming on WVIA. That is not too bad. Thanks. I'm Wendy Wilson, and tonight's show features William Wedig, Manny Perez, and Joe Van Wee of the action-adventure movie Forged, which is now being filmed in and around the Scranton area. We'll also be talking to another cast member, David Castro, who happens to be sitting in the audience tonight. During tonight's show, we'll also be taking questions from our live studio audience. And for those of you watching from home, you can email your questions to us by going to wvia.org. For right now, let's give a warm welcome to tonight's guest. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. It's great thank to have you. you here. Thank you. And thank you to our audience as well. Now, William. We're going to start with you. I said we're going to go down the line and just give us a little bit of a mini bio for those of you at home who are watching that might not know anything yet about the movie Forged and as well as yourselves. Uh, well, the movie Forged, as she said, is an action-adventure um, film. It's, it's about a father and son reconnecting after he gets out of his uh, time that he spent in prison. So it's sort of about can they reconnect, can their bond ever be healed. It has a bit of a uh, road trip element, so that's involved. Um, but yeah, that's that's the basic idea behind uh, behind Forge is this father son element. And tell us about you. What is your past? Because you've got a you've got a, a resume of film, and, and you're kind of involved in the horror genre. I must say. Tell us a little bit about William Wedding. Yeah, I've uh, I've worked on two horror films. Uh, my last film was called Rise of the Dead, um, which was distributed by Lionsgate, and you know had nationwide release. Um, and then another film I worked on was called Salvage, which was at a Sundance Film Festival in right. 2006. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, I've been involved in the horror genre, um, but that's not that's not all that we do. I mean, obviously, this is a this is more of a dramatic piece. Right. Um, so, so you know, I mean, you try to stretch your muscles out and do a, a varying types of films and uh, see what clicks the best. You know, right. seems very exciting. And Manny, you also co-wrote this film with William. Yeah. And <coughs> you have a very long list. You're an actor in the film. You've got a resume yourself. Tell us about what you've been in and also what you contributed to this film. Well, you know, I've been blessed. I mean, I think God is sort of guiding me and also guiding this film because I think this film, what's happening in this film, is not just an action-adventure uh, picture. It's more like drama, feelings, a lot of layers of, uh, of relationship between the father and the son that's beautifully played. The son is beautifully played by David Castro, who's in the front row there. But, um, you know, my background, uh, again, I've been blessed because I, I've worked in every film that has a Latin, a Latin theme to it. And I've sort of been the guy that they come to right. and, and, and they cast me in it, and, you know. And so uh, some of the f latest films that I've done, I guess, is uh, Pride and Glory is out there now. Right. Uh, uh, Bella, which was like a made big, huge film that David was in also as well. So you're reunited. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we, well, we've, we've done like three films together. Oh, where I play his dad. So that's where this whole thing came about and how right. he got involved in this film. Good. Because we have this great chemistry between a father and son, um, which works. 
And I've also did like El Cantante with Mark Anthony. I mean, the whole list goes right. on and on and on, illegal tender. But you know, uh, so this one is something that is very uh, personal because I got involved with, uh, with it to help him write it and we got involved in just doing it together. Right. So we'll talk more about that later right. on. Well, we're so excited to have you here. And then of course we have Joseph Van Wee and you are the Scranton native who is from our area. You left for the Bright Lights Big City and now you're back with the film production in tow. Like tell us how that happened. Um, a lot of lies. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Your mother's here, come on. I convinced <laughs> them I knew what I was doing and uh, they believed me. Um, no, for about, uh, I moved out to New York, uh, actually I wasn't even in production. It took a while to decide uh, I, w I was interested in film. Okay. Acting? And, and this, acting, right? yeah, sure. Um, did local like shorts and stuff and uh, I was really working for about a year to find the right project to bring to Scranton that I would want to produce and it just happened that I met Manny and uh, one of our other producers, Josh Crook in the Dominican Republic on Manny's last film, La Soga, uh, which hasn't been released yet. And they told me about Will and I think the day I came back from the Dominican, I met Will right, out, right when I left the airport. Uh, we met, he had the script and that was in, geez, July. Yeah. And I just knew that was the project, and uh, it was originally for Texas, and as the story developed more and more, uh, Will agreed and uh, saw that Scranton would be the perfect uh, landscape for this story to be told, uh, especially with the Latin uh, community that was growing around here. It's burnt out, like some areas that could, you could just see industry just left. Right. would be a great place to tell the story. Yeah. Well, I love that it was originally slated for Texas, and somehow you brought it to Scranton. And I mean, the locals here are going crazy for this film. I'm sure you have all the rubberneckers showing up wherever you're shooting. You know, how has your um, reception from the community been? What's that been like? Uh, it's it's been amazing. Yeah. I mean, people have really come out to uh, come out from every every different angle to really help us out. We had a casting at the uh, Holiday Inn in Dunmore, which we did open casting call. We had like 300 people show right. up. So uh, a lot of those people that came were putting in the film, and actually there's some of them out here in the audience tonight that uh, we put in different places. And so yeah, we've we've had a lot of people come out of the community to help us, and even people who haven't worked in film before but have uh, just been interested have come out to help in the crew or or just in in every single department. It's know? interesting. I had a uh, somebody that emailed me that said, "Oh, I want to know how to be in this film because it's on my bucket list." You know, it's mm -hmm. that whole thought that I always wanted to be in a film, and here it is in our own backyard. For you to bring this back here, is that a sense of accomplishment for you? I mean, it, it has to be, I would think. Yeah, uh, in, in a sense that uh, the town could share in it. Um, right. Every story I know or ever would want to be told that's personal to me would be in Scranton. And the way we planned this production when I sat down with Will, we decided uh, since the town would be so integral uh, and we wanted to leave most of our budget here, each department so far from art to camera, grip, has one to two guys from Scranton that have some experience or just graduated from film school, didn't move to New York yet, and they're from Scranton, that are pretty much being trained by uh, some marquee players in production from New York. And it worked out really well to our advantage because uh, each department knows the area, they, they got a guy from there, and he's being trained by someone that has about 10 years in film experience. Right. And um, that really helped out. I wanted the town to feel like this is an opportunity for anyone who not want to be involved in film from their own backyard. So that, they could take part. Yes. That's a wonderful way to be. You know, and I'm sure that, like I said, people here are just welcoming you with open arms because it's not often that you get a Hollywood picture shooting right in your own backyard or next door, that sort of thing. I read um, in the paper, and the paper has been, you know, the, the local media has been covering you guys like crazy, that one of the first scenes you guys filmed was up in Knoxon. Tell us about that experience. <laughs> I heard there's a wonderful family that you guys really bonded with while you were up there. Yeah, I think, what, what's it called? The Whistle Pig? Whistle Pig. The whistle, whistle Pig Pumpkin Patch. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, I think we got some whistlers out there, yeah. Yeah, it was a, a really amazing location. Great, like, just beautiful farmhouse. Um, Joel and Stacy, the, uh, the homeowners, were just so welcoming to us. And... Uh, you know, I mean, to have to have a crew come out with like four or five trucks, you know, crew of like 40 people show up at your house, start rigging up lights and stuff, and they right. were just down. They were just cool, you know. Right. So it was uh, it was really a great experience out there. That's fun. And so Joseph, you had said earlier that you know you kind of got on board in July. Yeah. Is that right? So you had just been exposed to the script at that point. The 